And now I want to show you how to make a logo for your WordPress site using PicMonkey. We currently are wearing the default logo from Aster Starter Templates, which just says Logo Ipsum. It's kind of cool, nice shapes, but we want a logo that's original and amazing and memorable. And PicMonkey has all that. PicMonkey, in fact, has all the tools I use to make any graphics, like YouTube thumbnails, blog thumbnails for the images and the featured images. I use it to put text on top of an image or just to make a circle out of a person here. And really, it's the best. I can't say enough good things about PicMonkey, whether it's an ad or just a little logo you want to make gray or a new font you want to replicate that you saw along the web. PicMonkey has it all. They're almost free to use. It really feels free because it's about the cost of a trip to the coffee shop for me per month. I think it comes out to about $7.99 which is amazing because all the tools it gives you make you your own web designer and you'll never have to hire another one again. It's really cool. It's a ton cheaper than Photoshop, by the way, and also a lot more intuitive. And that said, let's see what it's all about. So to create our logo, we're going to hit create new and you can open something from a computer if you're going to edit like a picture you took from your iPhone or Android or a screenshot. But in our case, we just want a blank canvas to work on. We're going to give ourselves some space here, but we don't need quite 2000 pixels. How about just 400 by 400 is a good way to start and make it. Okay. The first thing a logo needs is a graphic. That will be the origin of where you get your colors and how your ideas progress. So let's go to graphics. And one thing I really like for building a new website, especially in the digital agency space is some sort of nature. As we know on YouTube, everyone's got a plan behind them. I got this cat tower, but I got plenty of plants I could put back there. So let's look up plant. And you can see all sorts of cool leaves, you know, things that might catch a user's eye. And it's pretty awesome. So there's an acorn, could symbol growth. Some of the leaves move, you got a log. And by the way, you don't need to use plants and leaves. You could look up something else like, you know, sunset. Or you could try leaf to get a little more variety. So I'm going to check out our agency site again and just see the sort of background that the logo is going to go on. It's already dark, so we're going to want something a little lighter to stand out. And I personally really like this abstract magnolia, the abstract monstera, or the abstract birch. If you had a white background, I might go with the oak because that purple and magenta is just really intriguing. But in our case, I'm going to go with the birch because that like creates a nice little canopy vibe for me. Okay, cool. And cool, now we can drag our logo around. It's not a logo yet, but it's definitely a leaf. Now, Dear Traveler has told me that we should combine two images in our logo to make it even more abstract. And the other image I want is a computer mouse. So I'm gonna look for mouse, and if they don't have enough mice in PicMonkey, we can always go to computer mouse graphic in Google. All right, there we go. Let's click on images. And then another trick I love in the graphic design agency space is going to tools and going to usage rights and creative commons license. So that means we can use it as opposed to commercial, which we couldn't use. All right. We can also go to the color and get a transparent background. So it'll just look great on top of PicMonkey. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab this clipboard right here and see what other related mice there are. Maybe there's a cooler one. Okay, awesome. Once you found the graphic you like, just right click on it and you'll get the save image as option. And we're gonna call this one mouse graphic. And another tip in the graphic design website world is going to remove.bg which I'll show you next. And from this window, we can take off the background on any graphic, so it just blends in better with our existing project. Upload the file, and then just choose the graphic we just got from Google. And there we go, now everything is transparent and there's no annoying white or black or shades, and we can just download it. Bada boom, and call it as such, just without the dash preview, and save. Awesome, great job. Now in PicMonkey, let's keep moving here. We can add your own graphic to get one from the computer. And here we go with our mouse graphic we just made. So super cool, it's slender. I think it's gonna fit just fine. So the idea is to have the mouse sort of leading into the leaf. 
and that way you are like controlling the design of the leaf with the mouse. It's almost like you're clicking and creating that image. Okay, great, there we go. Another trick is you can take the graphic you just made if it kind of is in the wrong position and flip the image just by grabbing the sidebar knob and pulling it across itself. All right, make sure you get the width right. And now let's rotate again. And awesome. And if we need more space in our canvas to edit, you can always up the viewing area to say 200% and you'll see a little bit more. Okay, great. Let's bring our icon down a little bit and let's allow ourselves to get some text in to the right of our two icons here. So once our mouse is perfectly fit, so it's creating that awesome birch plant. Now we just need some text. To get our text in there, let's click the text bar and add text. And it's gonna take in one of the fonts we've used in the past, which continues to work well for a lot of niche websites, Poets in One. Of course, choose to your heart's content below in all the list of fonts. But in our case, I like keeping it simple throughout a lot of different websites we make. And that way we are branded to Poets in One. And it's really easy, we can just write out agency. To change the font size, let's drop it down from 125 to about 72. And you don't need to be limited by the default font sizes. You can just write in your exact size right there. Cool. Now let's bring our text up a little bit more so it's underneath this awesome umbrella we've created. Cool. We can align it using the vertical line and the horizontal line to part of the plant and the center of the mouse, which is awesome. Just make sure you get it to stay there. And lastly, the part everyone always asks me is how do you change the color of your logo text so it matches the color of a different part of your logo? Well, PicMonkey makes that really easy. Just hover on the text, click it so it's highlighted. Now go to text color. And you can change the color, of course, with the default colors, but a lot of people don't know and get pretty close, but a lot of people don't know about this eyedropper tool. Once you turn your mouse into the eyedropper, you can hover on other parts of your logo, like the leaf, to grab exact colors, even the really intricate colors like the veins in the leaf. Awesome. Okay, once we're satisfied with our logo, we need to go ahead and crop the image down to the right size for our website. Let's go to edit and crop canvas. And we can pull in the white space we didn't use. Just grab the corners and pull it in and pull in the bottom a little more. And we should still have a transparent canvas. It just shows up as white now to help us view what we're making. Okay, love it, love it, love it. Let's apply that crop. And then to save our logo, just download it, of course. PNG is the best quality. Download, and we're gonna name it Agency Logo Volume 1. Awesome job, guys. Oh, we might need a different name because we already have Volume 1. Let's go Volume 2. Save it, and we are really working on a tight time frame here and pulling it off. To get this logo on our website, let's go back to our domain name and click on Customize. Customize is gonna be the second most important place where your WordPress edits go on. So the first most important place is gonna be within Elementor, and the second most important place is Customize. And I'm just showing you the second most important one first for no apparent reason. So within Customize, go to Header Builder, and we can see because Astra is so kind, they've made us a custom header. A lot of people bang their head around and have to work with the web designer to get custom headers on their site, just like custom footers but you already have one right out of the gate, so you're definitely getting a leg up on other websites in your niche. All you do is click on site title and logo, and it'll bring up this upper left editing area over here. We're gonna remove the logo, select a new one, select files, and grab our volume two logo. Now we're just gonna select it, and we're gonna skip the cropping so we show the whole logo, and great. So we get a white box around our logo, which is not ideal. Looks like we have to go back to PicMonkey. And I thought it gave us a transparent background. I guess I was wrong. What if we go to background color, transparent? Cool, now we have a transparent logo. My bad. Let's download it again and download. We're gonna call this one Agency Logo Volume 3. 
save it. That way we have the logo with the white background volume two and logo without the background volume three. Never know what you're gonna need and come to our site, change it, upload files, select files, grab agency logo version three, select it, skip cropping and voila, nice work. If that mouse doesn't show up fully, mm, that's tough. All right, and while we're editing our logo here, HostGator has now come through in the clutch. And I'm talking to our boy Jonathan here. I'll give you the recap of our combo. They just said, HostGator will often ask for your pin, four to eight digits that you created when we signed up. And I've gotten the support request into them to update the PHP. And he has confirmed that. So he should be on it for us. I just have two things going at once here, and we're just gonna make sure this mouse is nice and bright. One way you can do that is by going to the shadow and outline, and PicMonkey gives you this really convenient outline feature, which is gonna be kind of a lot for us if it's that thick. Let's click on the color and make it white. Okay, cool, and then let's go out of here, and you can actually change the thickness as well. Something like just a little bit would be good. Like a three is perfect. And for intensity, you can also make that a little bit less so it's not quite as wide. Maybe a three and a 40. And perfect. And let's make sure we've applied it. Click out, it's still there. Let's download again. And this is gonna be PNG download. ANC logo version four. All right, and hopefully you won't have that many versions of your logo. But hey, you gotta put in the, the time here to get it right. Now we'll change our logo. Upload, select. There we are. Select it with that little white around the mouse. Can't see it there, skip cropping. But we can see it here and that is so cool. I'm so pumped about our new logo. Just make sure to publish it so the whole world can see it. And of course, if we want our logo a little bigger, they've given us this width meter right here. So you can go ahead and make the logo bigger and it'll also bump up the size of our navigation menu because it has to correspond with our logo height. So we're gonna stick with a nice round 180 and beautiful. And if you want a different logo for Retina devices, you can check that one and upload the image there. But I think our logo will look great across all devices and let's publish it. Great job.